my reality started shifting internally and externally. I started feeling differently about myself. I started loving who I was and becoming really confident. I started attracting different people in my life. The relationships that I was suddenly attracting were so fulfilling. Suddenly the men coming into my life were treating me like a freaking queen. <laughs> Something I was not used to. back to my channel or welcome if you're completely new here. My name is Lorena. I'm a self-concept coach and I specifically support heart-centered women in changing their self-concept, shifting their identity, embodying their highest potential so that they can align with their authentic soul desires and manifest anything they desire in life. If you haven't already, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I upload videos every Friday and I also have a bunch of free resources linked in the description box below, which is a great starting point for you to really change your self-concept and become a match to the things that you desire in your life. So today's video is a bit of a story time. I realized I never really took apart my own journey here on YouTube and I want to share with you what my spiritual journey has been like, what my journey towards changing my self-concept and manifesting a reality literally beyond my wildest dreams. I didn't even think this would be possible for me. I didn't even consider it to be possible for me. Well, you will see what is possible for you too because whatever is possible for me is definitely, definitely possible for you. I believe a lot of you will be able to recognize yourselves in maybe the earlier stages of my journey or sort of the middle part. So you can feel a little bit validated and reassured that wherever you are now is not where you have to stay. Things can change if you stay committed, stay persistent and invest your time, energy and money wisely. So I'll share with you what my life was like before my spiritual journey in general, what the catalyst was to embarking on a spiritual journey how I came into the world of manifestation and what my journey has been within that because it's been a journey. And then I'm gonna share with you how and when I cracked the code because I really have cracked the code. <laughs> and I want to share with you what old me was like and what new me or current me is like. Because what I often find, especially when people only came into my world recently, they think I just have this life with beautiful relationships and amazing friendships, this business that I love, and that's just how I am. I'm just a person that's confident, that loves herself, that embraces all of who she is, and that has created and manifested this reality for herself, and that just comes comes to me with ease. Well, I was not always like this. <laughs> Let me tell you that. I used to be very insecure, feeling very unworthy. I was constantly looking for a validation in other people, in achievements. I had a lot of fake connections in my life. A lot of the friendships I had were not authentic. I didn't really feel like I could fully be myself. I thought it wasn't welcome. I thought it wasn't good enough. I had such a scarcity mindset with money. I didn't think I'd be able to make money in my work. I never felt like I received the recognition I deserved. I was constantly living in fear, waking up with anxiety pretty much every morning. I really hated my body so much. I did not like who I was. And at the same time, deep down, I did feel like more was meant for me. I had all of these desires in my heart that I really wanted to make happen, but I didn't know how. And I felt punished. I felt like I was fighting really hard and it just wasn't working. One day I had a really severe panic attack. I'd been going through a lot in my life. I was very stressed out with my studies. I had just ended a relationship that had not ended in the best way. So I was heartbroken. I felt very lost. I didn't know what to do next in my life. 
And I remember I was in a library room, like a single library room, and I had this panic attack and this absolute meltdown. And I was really scared because that was the first time I had a panic attack of that intensity. And I thought I was gonna die. And it was scary, especially because I was alone in this tiny room. And eventually it passed and it clicked. And I was like, okay, this was a panic attack, I'm pretty sure. So I did some research as to how to stop panic attacks, how to alleviate panic attacks, and I found meditation and that's when I committed to a daily meditation practice at the time this had nothing to do with spirituality this had everything to do with mental health but it was the catalyst towards my spiritual journey I had deep down always been a spiritual person even when I was a little child it was always somewhere within me then when I started meditating I got into Buddhism eventually I went to go do a vipassana course and I went really deep into Buddhist teachings and those of you who are familiar with that philosophy desire is not something <laughs> that is really welcome in the Buddhist philosophy simply because there's this assumption that desire creates craving and craving creates attachment and attachment is one of the things that creates suffering in our lives so I actually had this perception that I shouldn't desire anything that desire is bad and yet I had these desires within me and that made me feel like there is more desire cannot be bad because like it just won't go away I couldn't eliminate it which then brought me onto the path of conscious manifestation and I think here you may be able to recognize yourself in this part of my journey when you first learn about conscious manifestation your mind is blown you're like oh my god I am responsible for everything in my life oh my god I can impact the circumstances I'm experiencing I actually have some sort of leverage or control over what is happening to me in fact things aren't happening to me they're happening from me I am projecting them I am creating them in the beginning this was massively empowering and exciting and I would see results I would consciously use my imagination specifically I studied Neville Goddard's work for many years and I would use a lot of his tools and techniques his philosophy essentially and I saw results pretty quickly and it was incredible and then I hit a wall everything came to a halt whilst I was seeing these successes here and there the deeper desires that had more of an emotional charge attached to them and that were more desires that I'd had for a long long time and never been able to make happen they just weren't happening and it actually created a real sense of frustration and a real sense of failure in me because I thought why am I not able to make this work this should be easy and here's the thing what really happened was just like previously me looking for external validation in relationships or academic or professional achievements now my spiritual journey had become the way for me to fill the void that I was feeling. I had my spiritual practices and I was on this path of conscious manifestation, but truly I was using all this to distract me from the reality that I didn't want to face and feel. Manifestation was suddenly not empowering anymore. It became an ego trip. It became a pursuit of control a mind management tool that induced more frustration and anxiety than freedom and sovereignty. I was stuck in the same old pattern and that is why I'm so against bypassing stuff by laying a technique over it because it's like a temporary solution. You know if you have a wound and you put a plaster over it but you don't tend to it, if the wound itself doesn't heal you're gonna have to go through the same thing all over again. Now let me tell you about the shift I experienced. Because one day I'd had enough. I realized that I had been chasing my own tail and that I was living a life that wasn't authentic to who I really was and something had to change. So instead of running from the truth and resisting what was, 
I started going within and I started really facing everything, which was painful because everything I had previously repressed or denied, I had to bring to the surface. So I embarked on this journey of self-love and healing and shadow work and I hired a few very, very supportive mentors and coaches to support me through this time so I could really integrate these shadows empowered and not be so lost anymore, not be so confused anymore, so I could really find the blockages towards my manifestations and clear them up. And I dove real, real deep into my subconscious. I had realized how me just focusing on my mindset had actually led to more harm than good because I was bypassing so much of what was actually present and I wasn't actually creating the change. So I started to approach shifting my state of being really holistically. And here's what happened. Slowly, but surely, my reality started shifting internally and externally. I started feeling differently about myself. I started loving who I was and becoming really confident. I started attracting different people in my life. The relationships that I was suddenly attracting were so fulfilling. Suddenly the men coming into my life were treating me like a freaking queen. (laughs) Something I was not used to. Something I'm sometimes still not used to. My heart opened back up to love. I found my soul purpose, which is what you're seeing now, the business I have, what I do with this work. It lights my heart on fire and it's nothing I actively sought out. It really found me. But it all started shifting once I got rid of all the blockages in my subconscious mind. So I was open to receiving. My friendships were suddenly full of love and support and authenticity, nothing fake anywhere anymore. No more trying, no more trying synchronicities left, right and center and everything I wanted was suddenly at my fingertips and not just that, even things that I didn't know I wanted. And the beautiful thing is that these are all things that lasted. These were not things I then had to work really hard at maintaining because I used a sustainable approach from the beginning and I didn't have to extend all this effort anymore. And it all happened through me changing my self-concept through an emotionally integrated and holistic approach that allowed me to be my fullest self and really effortlessly magnetize the things I deeply authentically desired. Now I'm telling you this also because using a holistic approach and essentially developing a holistic approach because what I teach is a method that I developed. It's a culmination of everything that I have learned and integrated and embodied over the years. Only focusing on one area didn't work. If I was only working on changing my mindset, my body would reject anything that I would try to call in. If I was only living in the spiritual realms, I wasn't able to manifest in the physical because it became irrelevant. If I was only in the physical, I wasn't connected to God, source, spirit. And I really brought it all together and developed this integrated approach for changing your self-concept. And I can tell you it's not an overnight shift. It did not happen fast. It did not happen overnight. Sometimes I think that because sometimes I look back and I'm like, whoa, that person that I was three months ago, don't know her. (laughs) But ultimately it didn't happen fast. It's not going to just take three days or eight days or 10 days. It is going to take time, but I'll tell you what, it's going to last when you follow this approach. You're going to feel the shift in you so deeply and you're going to be able to call in the things that you desire and you're going to be able to sustain all of it. It's incredibly powerful and I see this a lot when I work with clients because some of them have been doing this work for years but suddenly we just get to the root of that one thing and it all clicks into place. So yeah, I really feel like I cracked the code. Impossible is not a word that exists for me anymore. There is nothing that I can't manifest. (laughs) I know this. I feel this. I've proven it to myself time and time again. And it doesn't come from delusion. It doesn't come from 
living up here, it comes from a really grounded approach and path. So I hope you enjoyed this insight into my story. If you do want to embark on this journey for yourself, I have a free guidebook that is linked below in the description on holistic manifestation. 40 pages filled with practices, insights, information on how to truly change your state of being through an integrated approach rather than just trying to change your mindset. And I would love to hear from you in the comments below which part of my story maybe resonated the most. I'm sure many of you will be able to recognize yourself in some part of my story. That's usually why people feel called to working with me because they can resonate with something I experienced and they see themselves in part of my story and they want to go further and they want to take their work further and they are ready to crack the code too. They are ready for it to click for them too. I can't wait to connect with you in the comments and I will see you in next week's video.